spiritual food. The thought, get the word into your heart. Take advantage of this time. Spiritual food from your mind. Spiritual food. Are you starting a new business, releasing a CD, writing a new book? Consider Mitchell Productions for your web design services. Visit www.mitchell-productions.com for portfolio samples, specials, and package prices. Remember, a website is not a luxury item. It's a necessity. Check out mitchell-productions.com or find them at facebook.com slash mitchellproductions. Be engaged, be empowered, be inspired. With your girl inspirational speaker, missionary LaTanya, on Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Hey, 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 that's right. It is your girl, your auntie, your sister, your friend, inspirational speaker, missionary LaTanya Boyd here, and I am, yes, you guys know it. Say it with me. Super excited this is our segment of midday praise and we have a wonderful psalmist in the studio she is looking fabulous and i'm just excited that she is here and and stop by the, your favorite christian station of spiritual food for thought global radio you know i made some announcements early on in the week and how god is just maximizing our reach as we we now have Dun, 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 dun. Our own mobile app. That's right, my sisters and brothers. Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio has their own mobile app. I am so elated as to what God is doing in us, for us, and through us. You're wondering how can you go and download this mobile app because we've already had people in Nairobi, Kenya, because you know we're global, have already downloaded the Virgin Islands, have already downloaded, and we could not do this without you. So we thank you for your continued support of Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. All you have to do is go on to blackvibes.com backslash faith a believer. Or you can log on to our website. It's latboyd.com. Hit the radio tab. It'll take you right there to go ahead and download our mobile app for your BlackBerry and Android. So we are just super excited about that to, to spread the good news across the nation. Now, today's show is entitled Midday Praise. We want you to go ahead and tweet. Tweet, 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 because we know we're going to have some Twitter moments. So today's our handle is Spiritual Food R A, and today's handle is Midday Praise. Now we put a little swag to the word praise, so it's Midday P R A I Z E. We want to hear from you. Go ahead and log on to our fan page on Facebook under Spiritual Food for Thought. Global Radio. We want you to tell all your friends and family to let them know they really need to tune in to Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. We know you're going to be engaged, empowered, and inspired to move forward in this journey we call life. Now, I already said this. Today is our segment of Midday Praise. You know, praise and worship is the most important aspect of a Christian's walk. It is through praise and worship that we, as Christians, draw near to God. It tells us in Psalms 104, it says that we enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. We're going to take a brief break, and when we come back, I have none other than Psalmist, a Desiree 
Bonner here in our studio. O to the M to the D. G, Z, O. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back right after these messages. Are you ready to go big with your business in 2014? If so, you must attend the biggest event for entrepreneurs, the Big Business Conference. Visit CharvetteGoesBig.com to register. Meet our 50-plus coaches and view our sessions. This conference is virtual and live and will be held February 17th through March 17th, 2014. Let's get ready to build, integrate, and grow your business. Go to CharvetteGoesBig.com. That's spelled S-H-A-R-V-E-T-T-E, GoesBig.com. Charvette. GoesBig.com. Visit us today. Every woman has a breaking point. What will make your soul cry out? The question of ordinary women who experience passion and pain in their lives. They ask the question, where is God? Secrets, lies, betrayal, hope, healing, and forgiveness. Find out in the new short story novel, Broken Vessel, by Sharice Marconia Henry on Amazon.com. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day by LaTanya Boyd, consists of inspirational messages that offer daily words of empowerment, Promote spiritual growth and development in the Lord Jesus Christ for your day-to-day living. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day. Available now on Kindle, ebook, and paperback. Log on to www.latiboyd.com. drama romance story about four girlfriends with different personalities living the single life party enjoying themselves suddenly the four realize they are getting older and need to find a man to complete their world with lies deceit and betrayal being the name of the game who would end up finding love or will the four end up all alone or dead is this love now available on amazon
great. How many of us know if it wasn't for his great Hallelujah. You are listening to none other than song Desiree Barnard's song of Amazing Grace. That's right. This is our segment of Midday Praise. She is here in the studio, and I'm just so elated that she is here. But let me just give you a little background. Uh, uh, Evangelist uh, Desiree Barnard, she works under the prophetic and apostolic mantle, uh, Levitical and evangelistic uh, mantles, and through the ministry of music and the word, she is anointed to create an atmosphere of worship where God's presence can be felt and realized in our hearts. It opens up uh, the spirit within us uh, to the Holy Spirit, and lives and draws us near to him. The scripture tells us if he be lifted up, he would draw all men on to him. And I am just super excited. Without further ado, my sisters and brothers, this is our segment of Midday Praise right here on Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Please put your hands together and welcome Thomas Desiree Harris Bonner to Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, praise him. Praise him. Give God praise some praise. Him. Praise him. With the fruit of your lips, <laughs> yes, let's praise him. All that you do, yes. give praise. I am so excited that you are here. Hey, man, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. I know God is getting ready to do something very amazing and different in the lives of his people, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. Amen. And, you know, uh, my sisters and brothers, you know, I I, I do a prayer, and we pray before we actually come on uh, the air and to allow the Holy Spirit to take over uh, as as God reigns supreme. And, you know, I, I got caught up. In the prayer, and next thing I knew, we were going live. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. So you are in the atmosphere of yeah. praise and worship. Now, my sister, I'm going to ask, you know, a question. I'm going to, and we want our listening audience to participate as well Mm -hmm. and join in on this. Area code 602-753-1683. My sister, here's the question. What is praise and worship to you? Hmm. Well, first of all, praise is that which we give to God in a moment. There's a difference for me between praise and worship. Praise is thanking God for what he's done. So we thank him for the food we eat. We thank him for uh, our salvation. We thank him for his saving grace. We thank him for the shoes on our feet. We thank him for our job. The things that he has actually done by his hand, we thank him. That's praise giving him praise. However, worship is thanking him for who he is. Yeah. And yeah. it has absolutely nothing to do with what he does for us. See, praise focuses a little bit on us. Mm. It brings it from his hand towards us. And we say thank you. Like when our mother or our father gives us cookies. Or our mother and father takes us somewhere. We say, thank you. That's praise. But it involves us. However, when we worship him, it has nothing to do with us. And it has nothing to do with what he gives and does for us. So when we say on Mother's Day or Father's Day, and we just simply say, I thank you because you are my mom. If you never do anything else for me, because you are God, I thank you. That's worship. And worship is more encompassing than praise. Praise is that the momental type of thing. However, worship is in everything we do. It comes out not just in the lifting of the hands or, or the fact that we go to church on Sunday morning or Saturdays or Friday evenings or midday Bible study. Worship 
is the way we live our lifestyle to say he is my God. Amen and amen. Oh, my goodness. God is so good, my sisters and brothers. And I tell you, we're just going to have a blessed time as we fellowship on today. Uh, now, I just skimmed the surface of of, of your of who you are and it, let the listening audience know who is Desiree Bonner. Oh. Oh, I am just simply a vessel, a child of God. Um, any accolades, accomplishments, um, achievements, are really um, nothing compared to who he is in me. And I don't mean that in some religious way. I mean that in the truth of the matter. Um, I am simply a vessel that has made a decision to say yes to him. Um, (laughs) Who would it say, sinner saved by grace? Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yes. But but for the grace of God, um, He has truly been good to me, and I, I just um, I know where I've come from, and I know what's under the blood, and I'm grateful that the blood still flows um, freely uh, upon my life. Truly, um, anything, any good thing that I have done or am going to do. Is simply because of his love and his grace. Um, and and I, I truly mean that with every fiber of my being. So um, the fact that I can wake up this morning and even be here talking with you is by his grace. And so everything that I do, um, even the imperfect things that I do, and I do lots of imperfect things, um, I love that he is so gracious to still place his spirit within me and uh, utilize me. He puts his, this treasure in earthen vessels. Yes, 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 exactly. And exactly. I'm so very, very grateful. Amen, amen. Now, now, when did you realize you had the gift Mm-hmm. As a song, I know you have you know different mantles that rest upon you, but when did you realize that you had that gift? Honestly, I did not realize it in a moment. It took quite a bit of life to make it um, <laughs> obvious, so to speak, to me. And and the funny thing is, he called me a psalmist long before I acknowledged it. Um, even as I grew up, singing was something that was just something our family did. We just sang. And I, I wrote more than anything, uh, lots of poetry. I still have some of my old poetry books from back in middle school and high school. Um, it, words are something that's very, very important to me, and, and putting them to a melody uh, was important. Learning to play drums back in, in fifth grade, I remember – uh, when I went into fifth grade and, and was the beginning of actual formal music lessons and, and the teacher wanted to put me on clarinet or flute, which would be appropriate for a female, right? Um, and I wanted to play the drums because my father played drums and I thought that that was something I would prefer to do and it was more fun. And he said no, he wanted me on the other instrument. I went home and told my mom. And <laughs> And my mom came to the school and said, if she wants to play drums, she gets to play drums. And, and that was the end of that. So I, at, at my training all the way up through middle school, high school, and beyond was um, playing percussion until I became first chair. And, and that was something that was just part of me. But I never thought of it as a calling, anything musically minded. It was just something I did for fun. And I remember a lot of my friends were keyboard players, musicians, and they would want me to come and sing with them um, or with their groups for different uh, events. And for whatever reason, it just never was a desire. And then I got saved. And when I got saved, it was like 
God just jump-started that thing and kicked it into high gear where it became a passion for me to be part of the worship team and, and, and uh, lead worship and, and be part of the choirs and different things like that. And even then, it was something I was perfectly content just being in the background doing because I had not seen it yet as a calling, but it just became a desire to be involved. And as I grew in the things of God, he began to call me a psalmist because the song writing was made alive and the musical background joined in with it. And all of the experiences that I had growing up in music and around music, it became real. And then I answered it and said, yes. We thank God that you said yes to the call. Many are called, but few are chosen. Yes, we thank yes, God yes. Uh, for you. Now, you mentioned your, the, the ministry. You're the executive director of D.H. Bonner Ministry. Uh, yes. Tell us about that. And you're also an ordained elder at Vision Correct. of Ministries in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Uh, please tell us about that. Um, I have two of probably, and I know everybody probably says this about theirs, but I really have two of the world's greatest senior pastors in the whole wide world uh, at Vision of Life Ministries in Lawrenceville. I'm under the um, leadership, the anointed uh, leadership of Pastor Marion Relaford and Dr. B.J. Relaford, and they are just such a support of the Spirit of God in my life, and they have built me up so well in the spirit of God and the kingdom of God and encouraged me. And I, I am truly grateful to them. So D.H. Bonner Ministries is really a support ministry. It's a ministry that supports other ministries, other ministers, other um, men and women of God. The word of God says that your gift shall make room for you and bring you before great men and women. Of God. So the reality is, is that as a supporter, <laughs> my ministry yeah. and what I do, uh, whether it's uh, bringing forth the word of God in song or bringing forth the word of God in spoken word, bringing forth teaching, um, coordinating events and different activities, it actually comes in and supports those other ministers so that they can do what they need to do. Amen. Well, we, we say shout out to Vision Life <laughs> And if you are on the line, if you need to dial in the area code of 602-753-1683, welcome each and every one of you to our segment of Midday Praise right here on Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. I'm going to take a brief break, and what we're going to play next from our dear guest who is here in our studio. I think, well, let's go ahead and, and play You're My Everything. i 
sing. That is from Thomas Elder Desiree Bonner. You are my everything. There is nothing too hard for God. Oh, my goodness. My sisters and brothers, area code 602-753-1683. This is your segment of Midday Praise right here on your favorite Christian station of Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. And it's your girl, your auntie, your sister, your friend, inspirational speaker, missionary Latanya Boyd here. And we have such a phenomenal and gifted guest here in our studio of Midday Praise, none other than Solomon. Desiree Harris Warner, and we're playing some of her songs from her recent uh, release of an album called The Psalmist. Uh, I'm going to let her get into it. I know she has an upcoming uh, project that's coming out that will be released very soon. Uh, she had mentioned, um, I said, you mentioned how you, you write poetry, um, and mm-hmm. I know you have released your book, The Heart of the Psalmist. Tell us the heart of the psalmist. What is the heart of the psalmist? Okay. The heart of the psalmist is a actually an outbirth of the music ministry itself. As I mentioned before, I do a lot of supporting other ministries and teaching and, and in terms of music. So it's my heart that we understand the biblical purpose for music in the church and the biblical order, because a lot of times what we do is take the secular and bring it into the, to the house of God. And that's actually not the way it's supposed to be. The word of God gives us very clear instruction on how the music department is supposed to be set up. And so what happens is, though, we don't necessarily pay as much attention to those particular scriptures. Um, I don't think because we don't want to, it's just we don't consider them as being put together. So the whole part of the heart of the psalmist is to put all of those scriptures together and outline it and create basically an instructional manual so that you can have all those scriptures in one place. And so any pastor, um, minister of music, uh, choir member, um, or even just a lay person who wants to understand worship even more from a musical perspective can read through this seemingly small book, but it's packed with all the scriptures and in an in under, in-depth understanding of how the music department should be laid out. Awesome. So it's my heart to provide that. So um, it's a great need for anointed and seasoned mentors and, and knowledgeable spirit-led teachers who can instruct. And so this book helps to act as a, a, an instruction manual. So I used to use, really, I used to use all of these scriptures and what have you in workshops. And it actually came from that. And the Lord said, okay, I want you now to take those uh, resources and notes that you've had all these years and, and the workbooks that you put together and now put it into a book. And that's what the heart of the psalmist is. Wow, and that's awesome. And and let the listening audience know how they can go about purchasing The Heart of the Psalmist. The Heart of Psalmist is available now on Amazon.com, uh, both in a Kindle form, or you can order the hard copy by going to my website at dhbonner.com. Awesome. Now I see we have someone here, uh, area code 404. I want to welcome you to Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio of Midday Praise. State your name and where you're calling from. You are now on the air. State your name and where you're calling from. My name is Erin Harris. I am from the fruit of Minister well, Elder Bonner's womb. Oh, what a that's blessing. That's, <laughs> that's my Mimi. Um, We wanted to call in and just say how proud we are of my beautiful mother. She is a wonderful woman of God. Um, The way that y'all see my mother is the way that she's been all my life. Um, It is such a blessing to have her, you know, as my mother. And I'm just so proud of her that she's finally 
finally living her dream out and doing what God has set out for her to do. So I'm proud of you, Mimi. I'm proud of you, Mimi. Thank you, guys. <laughs> love you. <laughs> love you. We love you, Mimi. Well, we love you, too. Well, God bless you, and thank you so much for calling. Oh, my goodness. What a blessing, <laughs> my dear sister. That is a blessing. I've got tears in my <laughs> eyes right now. <laughs> Amen, amen for the support. And what she said, this, I am uh, from the womb of my mother. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many children do you have? I have three adult children. She's my youngest, and I have six grandchildren. Wow. Well, God but you heard you. one of them on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, God bless you. You look good. God is a keeper. Yes, he is. <laughs> God is a yes, is. keeper. And, and, the, and the Bible tells us how the, our children will call us blessed. So I, ah, I am. Glory oh, God. that's truly a blessing. God is so good. My sister, I know you're working on a project that's soon to be released. Let us know uh, what that project is. It is the Psalmist, Volume 3. And what mm-hmm. happened was originally, if you notice, all of them are it, it, CDs are entitled The Psalmist, and you have Volume 1 and Volume 2, which have already been released. And what happened was some years ago, um, I would sing my songs in services, and I would just put them in as a special. And people would start asking me, who sang that song? And I would say, I did. And they no, 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 who sings that song? And I said, no, it's, it, I sing it, it's mine, you know. And so the Lord started putting in my heart that I needed to start recording them and uh, getting it into the hands of people that, that wanted it. And so he told me originally that there would be three volumes because I had enough sitting in my drawers, my desk drawers, um, that it would come out to be three volumes. And I, I am just so thankful and elated that, Two volumes have already been done, and I'm now working on the third volume. So from a situation where I didn't even consider um, recording anything to now I'm on that third and final volume, it's just absolutely amazing. Wow. And and when do we expect that to to be released? Well, a single will be released in uh, March. Matter of fact, we're in March. Um, (laughs) Woo-hoo! So... (laughs) Later this month, I will be releasing the first single off that new volume, which will be called Who Do You Love? And then the remainder of the uh, CD will be this fall of this year will be released. Amen. And so let us know how we can follow you. Uh, if you're on any of the social networks, which I already know you are, um, I know mm-hmm. we've already <laughs> had some for the moment. Let the listening audience know how they can connect with you. You can reach me directly on my website at dhbonner.com, and if you go to dhbonner.com, you'll find that there are the links for all of for Facebook, for Twitter, uh, for Reverb Nation. And if you are on this call, you can go ahead and go to Reverb Nation right now, and you can download Amazing Grace for free. What a blessing, what a blessing, my sisters and brothers. Go there right now, Reverb Nation. Uh, and go ahead and download Amazing Grace. You've heard it at the top of the show. Powerful, powerful song. Now, it's just, I know you write. Now, on this volume mm-hmm. three, you, you, have you written? Uh, do you produce? Uh, how does that work when you go into the studio? Paint us a picture. <laughs> oh, I remember when I did my first CD volume, I, I, I was like, this is a foreign land. I mean, literally going into foreign territory. Um, however, it really it takes the songs that I've written, and what you need is good musicians. Since I don't do, I don't play keyboards, um, and I thankfully God has always provided amazing keyboardists around me, and I, I'm very grateful to all of them, to Andy Desty, to John Williams, to uh, Leonard Jackson, all these amazing keyboardists that come around me. And what happens is when I get the words to a song, I get it downloaded straight from heaven. And what I get is the melody that goes with it. So 
I have the melody, I have the the words and the flow of the song. What I'm able to do is give it to the keyboardist, and he can put all of the the music that needs to go with it attached to it. And so when he goes into the studio with me, I, I lay down, you know, a scratch track, which basically means I just throw some, some words out there, you know, and then some song, you know, melody out there. And he can use it to play and put the different tracks that he needs to put down, the drum track, the keyboard track, you know, all of the additional instrumentation that he needs. And then once we have that, that usually takes up one session. And then the next session, what I do is I go in and lay down all my background tracks, my background vocal tracks. And then I take that home. And then I actually now perfect the vocal that goes with it. And then I go back in on the third session and add my vocal track. After that's done, of course, you've got the mixing, the mastering, and, and the actual produ- uh, production, the full packaging of the, of the product. And the thing is, is that um, I've learned how to produce over time. When I first walked in, I could not do it because I didn't know all the pieces and parts that needed to happen. But now I can actually, this third volume, I'm actually producing on my own. So um, with the help, of course, of of those great musicians and uh, vocalists like uh, Kim Williams, uh, she's just amazing. She comes in and she, I can give her my vocal and say, this is what I'm doing. Help me to hear something just slightly different, like with Amazing Grace. I went to her and I went, this is what I want with Amazing Grace. I don't want to sing it like everybody else sing it. This is how I hear it. Help me perfect it. And she was able to come in and just say, okay, move your note this way, move it that way, you got it. And I could actually then begin to hear the song differently because when you write a song, sometimes you only hear it locked in that way all the time because I'm actually holding the melody. I'm holding the tune until I can release it to the musicians, now I can get off of that and, and begin to hear it a little differently, and she helped me with that. So I'm grateful for all the support that I've received from these amazing musicians and, and um, vocalists that helped me do what I can do. Amen. So we give a big shout out. Uh, Absolutely. We, the kingdom is a body. We are a body. We are not... Um, no man, they say in, in the world, no man is an island. Well, in the body, we don't. a body part doesn't operate fully and completely by itself. It's connected. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so we need each other in order to truly fulfill the vision that God places in our lives. Absolutely. We all have to make that connection. Now, my sister, is there anyone that you want to do a collaboration with or maybe something that's already in the works that you're going to be uh, collaborating with? There are several people um, that on this fourth, I mean, excuse me, on this third volume, my goodness, I must have just prophesied that into my own life. Um, The third volume. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, put it out in the atmosphere. There there you go. (laughs) I receive it. Um, That actually, um, that it's going to be more collaboration than it was in the, in the first two. And even one of the songs that's going to be on the, on the CD um, is going to actually have some rap in it, which I'm not a rapper. Um, I, I am a melody kind of gal. And so, but there's an amazing man of God uh, over in Alabama that uh, I'm just in, in love with his uh, anointing on his life, Christian rap. And he's going to lend some support there. So um, in the areas where I'm not as strong, I have, I believe God in this season is going to allow the third volume to be just a little more um, outreaching in the sense that it will touch on some areas um, like, like rap that will be included in the music. Amen. Now, you, you mentioned uh, how your style is, is, is just a little different. Um, you say, mm-hmm. as you hear it, um, it's such yeah. an amazing grace. And, you know, I sit here in the office, and, and, I, and I shared this with you. I just start playing your music, and it's so soothing. Um, now, mm-hmm. I, I like jazz. Um, and mm-hmm. I'm big on, on jazz. And so that's how I, when I'm listening to your music, it has more of a jazz feel to yeah. me, not to put you in a box. But uh, <laughs> you said your style is it, 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 just a little different. Now, I'm so mm-hmm. glad to hear that you said you're going to be co- doing a collaboration where you're having rap come on to this uh, track. We'll, yeah. we'll draw in a different 
uh, generation um, just from the rap. And, you, and so tell us about the, the, the style, your style. It's just a little different. It is, and and of course, you. I didn't invent it. I didn't create it. Um, it's just the way I hear it, the way God gives it to me, and the way it comes out. And and jazz, actually, I love jazz, even though I'm not a jazz singer. That jazz styling the, is is really undercurrent. It's undercurrent in my music. Um, and I can hear that. I like to bend the notes just a little bit differently and have more of a jazz feel. Um, I personally just like to worship, and my music is pretty straightforward. Otherwise, I like the idea that when I sing and the music that I I put forth from my heart, the music of my heart, it can, someone who's, and I I know this to be true, someone who's 70-something years old in a white church um, could listen to it and be blessed by it, as well as the same song could minister to someone in their teens in a black church. I don't like the idea of being in a box. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I work hard not to. It's just I don't fit in one. Mm -hmm. I've tried. It doesn't work. Uh, (laughs) So even when I I look at – I'll go into a church that uses hymn books, which I absolutely love hymns. The Bible tells us to speak to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And so those are the three styles that we should have when we, we're, we're a psalmist or singing in the church. And so I'll open the hymn book and try to sing the hymn the way it's written and the way everybody in the congregation sings it. I actually have to end up being quiet because I'll end up trying to move the notes differently because I actually hear it differently. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's, it's not something I tried to create. It just literally that's the way it comes out of me. The way, right, the way God has created you to hear, yes, to hear it yes. and, and make that, uh, uh, make that you know melody and that sound um, of yes. a worship. Because when we do worship, you know, and you said in, in the beginning that you know the worship is a heart thing. It's a heart yes. to heart, our heart with God's heart that brings us, you know, less of us and more of him and to bring us yes. into the presence of the Lord. So when we become in the presence of the Lord, I may not, my presence uh, being in the presence of the Lord may not be the same as your presence uh, of being exactly. in the Lord because he is, he's ministering to us in a different way, the way he has created us. Um, so yes. I, I like what you, I like what you said. So you know, so that's when, you know, you we're all, we're, we're not all, created the same. We are fearfully and wonderfully Amen. made, but we're not all created the same because God ministers to us in, in a different way, in a different fashion. And that's what makes you unique. Exactly. And that's what makes your style uh, unique because we are designers uh, original. So I, I'm so glad that you, you shared that, and I'm so glad that, of the collaboration. Yes. I do see we have someone here from Erico 678. I want to welcome you to Spiritual Food for Thought. This is our segment of Midday Praise. Welcome. Please state your name and where you're calling from. Morning. Good morning. This is Pastor BJ out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. <laughs> How are you this morning? Oh, good morning, Pastor. Welcome. Thank you so much. We also have Pastor Donya Lindsay from Vision of Life. Hi. <laughs> We're having a praise in the afternoon party here. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Amen. Well, we thank you for for tuning in and fellowshipping with us today on Midday Praise. Amen. I just wanted to say we're having a wonderful time and really enjoying the program, and we're so excited about how God is using Elder Desiree Bonner uh, in this season. He is truly an anointed uh, psalmist who serves in every area of ministry where she's needed. And we just thank God. She's a gift. She's a gift to each of us. Amen. I hear in the background, amen. Bless God. Bless God. We thank you so much for, for joining us and, and supporting uh, us on today of Midday Praise. God bless you. And we give a big shout out to your ministry. And so if anyone's in the area, let them, let them know where they where they can come and fellowship. Oh, we're at Digital Life Ministries at 458 North Chestnut Street in Lawrenceville, Georgia, our website is vision-of-life.org for directions and more information about us. God bless you. We just wanted to call in and support and, 
and say great, 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 great interview. Elder Desiree Bonner. Love you. Love you so much. Love you too. Bye bye. Amen. Amen, my sister. Oh, we're almost to a close in my heart. <laughs> God is so good. And, you, you know, you are a blessing to the body of Christ. Again, let the listening audience know how they can uh, connect with you uh, on, on your social networks. Yes, please reach out to me on dhbonner.com. And on that website you will find that there is – um, links that are attached that get you right into Facebook, uh, Twitter, and my Reverb Nation page. You can go straight to dhbonner.com and find everything you need, as well as how to order my CDs and my book. Amen, my sister. Now, I ask all of my guests when they come to our studio, Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio, you are on our midday praise. What words of spiritual food for thought would you like to leave the listening audience with on today? I would like to say a quick prayer, if that's possible. Father, I just thank you for every listener that is tuned in this morning. Father, you know exactly what their need is. You know exactly where they are. Father, I ask that even now you go to right where they are and you meet that need as only you can, Father. Lord God, let them lack no good thing as they walk uprightly before you. And I know that you can provide and supply all of their need according to your riches and glory. I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And let the church say amen. 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 Again, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio to empower, engage, and inspire our listening audience to move and drive forward in creating the life and business that they so desire. My sister, you are family. You can come on back uh, <laughs> any time. We love you here at Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Love you, too. Thank you for the opportunity. Shalom. Amen. Well, my sisters and brothers, again, we've had such an impactful uh, time today on Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio, Midday Praise. That's right. It's your girl, your auntie, your sister, your friend inspirational speaker, missionary Latanya Boyd here. You want to stay connected to us. Follow us on Facebook under Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Go ahead and tweet, 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 some of the moments that you have been impacted by on today's show. Today's hashtag is Midday Praise. And we put a little swag to it. Praise is P-R-A-I-Z-E. And our handle is Spiritual Food RA. Don't forget to download our mobile app. Go to blackvibes.com backslash faith a believer. You can also log on to our website, latboy.com. Hit the radio tab. It will keep you abreast. Subscribe to our mailing list. That way you know what is up and coming uh, on Spiritual Food for Thought Global Radio. Tune in to our syndicated station of Gospel is Golden every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Gospel is Golden. Until next time, my sisters and brothers, I want you to be blessed. Love you. Bye-bye.
Ooh. 